Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting in the room to episodes 11 and 12 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. It is 12 o'clock in the morning, I am tired as hell, but I'm like, no, I gotta get this done. I, I really want to go to sleep, but I'm like, mm -mm. get it done, edit it, upload it, go to sleep. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And here's my dog. Come here, good. But she seems like a badass. But, I mean, you know, relatively every girl, maybe some one of the guys that, you know, although we've only really seen a couple in action and we're almost done with this dang show for the first season. But, I mean, not every guy. I want to see more guys relatively in season two or even in the rest of episode 11 going on into 12, where um these guys are very, like, badass as fuck. Because the last few episodes, the girls, honestly, have been the ones who've been kicking ass. I'm, I'm just saying, like, shit. That's what we gotta do. So, that's just the whole thing. If it doesn't happen in 11 or 12, do it in the last episode of season one before we go on to season two. Because, do I want season one to end on a cliffhanger? A little bit of yeah, a little bit of no, kind of. It just depends on how these next two episodes go. I just want them, really mainly Tori, to finally get to Horizon. I still want in Horizon to try to find her own way out, but, you know, you can't have everything. Because I'm still, I'm a little pissed. I'm a little pissed about something else right now. I don't even want to talk about it because it's been almost an hour since I finished watching something. And I was like, what the fuck? Why did I sit here and watch this for, like, almost three hours? Uh, and I it wasted my time so much. But I watched it with a friend. It was a lot more funner, in my opinion. Even though it was shit. I mean, damn. Do you see why the girls are technically ruling this series? Hey, Tori. Oh. I mean, are you sure it's just you? But, I mean, okay. Is he actually- oh shit. Is he gonna do something basically? Well, that's kind of good because I would want that for him, but I honestly thought it was gonna be more of episode 12 rather than episode 13. It feels too soon, you know? Go 
Tony. The hell it looks like a just but that's cheating though well yeah i mean you know if you a bad guy king queen whatever you go and cheat no matter what it just it's not fair Poor baby. Of course. That's what we've been wanting to do ever since. Well, I'm not to say the whole dang series. The second half of this season. And so that you can finally confess to her, please. Sorry. So are we finally, after 11, not even 11, 10 damn episodes going to see this boy fight? I mean, my God. That was the one thing that kept pissing me off about this show. I was like, he's the only character who doesn't fight yet. Hey, no. It's kind of like, I don't really don't count it though, but uh, okay, I'll take it. It's something rather than nothing. You should be. Go lay down.
Cody. Hmm. But see, Hunter. Pause. Time out. We all know that it is not going to happen. Come on now. There is, see, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this, like, I'm going to be very fucking truthful about this, because I've seen another fucking show do something like this, where if he dies and Horizon's just the main fucking character, it's essentially not the show anymore. Cody! Go lay down. Come here. Because no matter what, you're still going to cry because you want attention. You can't be always crying, honey. Yeah, it's a bullet hole, babe. Yeah, maybe you should escape. I mean, it would be so freaking smart. I, I mean, uh, I don't know. I love you, Horizon. Seriously? I mean, but we all know Masa's gonna kiss, kick his ass. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Yes, kiss. Kick. Cody. So then how in the world do you defeat someone like that? See, I mean, I, the one thing that I love about this show, because it, it, it reminds me of several other shows that I've seen in the past, even way before I did anime reactions, where, you know, yes, someone who is mm, bad guys, good guys, whatever, 
essentially, you know, usually we'll say, here's the OP move that I have to use, but I can only use it once and one time only. Let me explain to you everything that a freaking does. And then <laughs> you sit here and wonder, how is the good guy supposed to get through this? Cody. Oh. I got something in my eye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> of course he would still be that <laughs> Uh-huh. Come here. I don't know what you want. What's wrong, honey? What's wrong? Are you okay? Mm. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Honestly, I think the fight between these two might be really good. If they, because the thing is, they could do one of two things: they could cliffhanger it in a couple of minutes, because we are. <laughs> Since we are almost done with this episode, or I don't know, because we got four minutes left, so. I'm wondering what the hell can you do in four minutes? Definitely not even four, maybe like two or three.
Mm, okay. <laughs> oh my god, will you two stop? Mm hmm. Flipping, all right. Oh, Jesus. No, no clipping here yet. Chloe, stop, please. Yeah, because um, that was a little awkward how we kind of went like maybe a, a couple of seconds and nothing happening. Oh, shit. What are you gonna do? Unless they don't surrender, you gonna kill her? No, no, never mind. Is that supposed to be Jojo? Either Jojo or something else. Okay. This episode was interesting. I will say that. But what the fact is that, you know, he basically gave them a damn or D situation. It's like, okay, either try to rescue her, people are going to get injured in her, or you just, you know, evacuate. It's a, what I say, a life or death situation in a way, but not as, like, Threatening. That's the word I was thinking. Threatening or serious in a way. But I don't know. I mean, we got one more episode left before I'm done for the night. And it could literally go any way. I, I didn't expect the fight between them, their second fight, with her losing. I thought she was actually going to win. But I, I get it. Sometimes you gotta have someone lose. Yeah, you, you just want to cheer for the girls or and some of the guys too. I mean, because in, in a way, I'll say maybe the second half of this episode, the guys were holding their weight. And I mean, you, yeah, maybe like, I think it was like two episodes ago where the king eventually came and talked to everybody. The guys were holding their weight too, but then was kind of like pushed back for a moment. And then this episode kind of made me like a little more, felt a little more better with the guys and understanding. Because I mean, for me, I'm like, I don't like guy characters who are just like, I'm fine with a lot of o overpowered as fuck guys. I think that's fine. But I kind of hate when guys, when they go back and forth where they're like, I win one battle, I lose two, and then yada yada yada. They go kind of like a hit and a miss with the characters. And I understand that you have to do it for the character development um, for each characters and whether it's a guy or a girl and everything, but sometimes I feel like, mm, for the guys, or they they put a little too much on them. I'm not saying it's a lot, but it gets a little over exaggerated over the while, uh, like after a while, because I've seen it with like there have been some shows that I've watched very recently where it did it, and I was just like. No, just stop. I can't. I can't even remember the name of it, but I was just like, mm. but 
But, I mean, yeah, it was really good. I mean, Tori, you know, he, he did something. But, I mean, I was ready to see him either um, to use a weapon. Technically, he kind of did. Either use his fist, get his feet, something, or a gun. I mean, Jesus Christ, he could have, like, something else. But, I mean, maybe, like, we got two more episodes left before I'm done with season one. And I'm not watching 13 until um next weekend or really this weekend in a while. Because I'll be busy all this week, so probably maybe Monday. Excuse me. Oh. <clears throat> so I just hope that he, like, some, he does something a little bit better. I still love Tony. Like, don't get me wrong. Still love him. Don't know why I'm whispering, but I just want a little bit more for him. And some other guys. I think they're just all very interesting characters, but it's just like, the girls are kicking y'all ass. I feel like the girls are just, they, they make this show, and the guys are the minor characters. Even though Tori is our main protagonist, he's the one who we see the POV through, and I'm like, well, no, because really with this show, it's kind of really through everybody's POV, but then there have been some shows where it's like, you're just, it's through this person's episode POV, no matter what. But yeah, it was still good, and I'm honestly ready to see what in the world happens next. It seems like He's gonna finally see his walkthrough, and I mean, he's not gonna be, you know, like, right there, right there, because the freaking glass is gonna be in the way, and I'm just gonna be like, you fucked with me, but yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okie dokie, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. It's so weird to go like back to something like this, even though they're not here anymore. I mean, yeah, at first I didn't really like her. And that dad, grandfather, no, grandfather, uh, it is been a while. Someone thinking about it all the time. But I didn't really like him. I because I'm no no no. Actually, let me take that back. I liked him at first, but until we found out the real reason of what he was doing, what he was doing, and he was two timing dude, I, I was just like, that's kind of a note for me. Like you know how like um, when you find out someone who you assumed is the good guy, what well, this is basically it. Like, um, and then you find out that they're the bad guy, and then you're like, like, you just, like, this is why I have trust issues. Basically that. There's a whole bunch of other reasons why. He was a really awesome character. He was a badass, though. I mean, shit. But, I don't know. It was just something about him in the end. I was just like, I liked him, but then at the same time, I kind of disliked him. Almost how, not, no, I shouldn't compare that. It, he, I don't like, dislike him as much as I dislike Kaiki from Monogatari. Because me and Kaiki got that love-hate relationship going on. And that, <laughs> that is a whole thing in just a nutshell. That's a whole different ballgame that I would love to get into into this show. But I'm not going to get into that. So yeah. I mean, I'm ready to finally see Horizon and Twenty officially near each other. Even though, even though it's a glass panel. A mother effing glass panel. It don't matter. It don't fucking matter. They're still there together. And they just look so fucking cute. And then just wait till the night when he holds her hand. And he hugs her. Oh my god. My throat. What the frick did I do? Did I get on my eye? What? You know what I'm kind of hoping for season two, especially with Honda, is that um, her.
her story, especially with her situation and everything. I mean, I'm glad that they showed like a flashback for her, but I still want more on her because she's a very interesting character. Sorry, Todd, you found him. Maybe next time. I mean, yeah, I get that, but still. You could have just left, like, a little cut on this cheek or something like that. So I'm guessing you're gonna go out now. My thing is okay, hold up. Why didn't she go out with Tachibana anyway? I mean, in a way, we've, mm, we've seen her fight like a little bit, but not as much. She seems kind of OP too. Really, everybody in this damn show seems OP as fuck. Tony, seriously? Oh. That was a little harsh. Yeah, I, I don't think you want that. I mean, it would be better if you had something to link it in, but...
And if they do go to war, they're only going to be able to do it for, like, one episode before season one ends. Unless, they, well, I mean, they're going to move, if it does happen, they're going to move it on to season two, and then we're going to have another 13 weeks to figure out how in the world they're going to do this. Mm. He is, but he's twenty. What you said like a couple of minutes ago, but then no, this. Horizon. You know, rejecting him and then poor baby loser. Oh my god. What was that? <laughs> it was cute though. I don't want to go with you. That's fine now. When you have human emotions, well, yes, we know that, but you still have your soul, so you possibly still have your emotions. They're just deep down there. And that probably looked long when I did that. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it like that.
They're so cute in a weird way. <laughs> That's fine. Well, then first we need to get you out of there. You can't break it. And see, watch Tony do something so... Mm -hmm. Just watch. Like, I got that feeling. Or he's going to do something. Oh. You know, you could just end the at huh? So you're looking into the past? <gasps> oh. oh my god, you look so cute! Fucking star cross lover bullshit. Like, why are you doing this to me? Oh, and there it is. Mm -hmm. 
through. I don't think so, honey. Mm -hmm. Almost every girl's like that. Almost. Idiot. <laughs> True. I can indebted to her. So, oh, a red bow. So there, yeah, they're supposed to be, in it, but it's not on their finger. Okay, all right, I'll take it. Oh my god, you're done. <laughs> Finally, it took several episodes of the <laughs> There we go. Thank you. That's all we needed. Good night, everybody. I will see you guys on next time. But hold on first. Okay. I really like this episode a lot more because finally, let's go back to a freaking several episodes ago where, yes, they talked for the first time and it was relatively awkward because Horizon was getting taken away and such, but now, like, the fact is that they talked for literally almost this whole fucking episode, which is fucking cute as hell, and I got way too many feels, because they're, they're just fucking adorable together. See, this is why I can't watch a lot of, like, well, no, because this is why I'm in love with a lot of romance-type animes, and I mean, this doesn't have a lot of romance in it, it's more of action with a side of romance, and I'm okay with that. But this is why I end up shipping like too many fucking characters to each other, and I become way too emotionally invested to a show. That and many other reasons. But it was nice. Like, goddamn, I had been waiting ever since she got captured. I was like, okay, the day that we get to the moment where like, these two are talking, talking again, and he takes her hand and he pulls her towards him, like that's gonna be the best fucking day to ever. I I can't speak right now. It's one o'clock in the morning and I'm tired. But it's the best day. I'm so happy that she's going with him and that she'll be able to hang out with Masa again. And then the Honda, the other Honda, you know, oh. Those lined up above the horizon. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Why was Tori looking like that? There's some despair in this last episode for season one. That means somebody gonna die because 
that red stuff right there, I it kind of looks like blood. I don't really want to 100% say it's blood, but it could be with the way it looks. But I think, well, because it is a darker crimson red, almost like my shirt, even though it doesn't really look as brighter on screen and stuff. But yeah, but yeah, the way it looks, it kind of looks like blood and the way it's splattered everywhere. So it is a possibility someone or several someones are possibly going to die in this last episode for season one. I mean, I don't want, okay, here's the one thing I don't want it to do. And I've seen other shows do this and I think it'll be okay if it does it. I won't be that pissed, but I'll be okay. If it doesn't open an ending for season one going into season two, I'll be fine. If the second season ends on an open ending where it's like, I'm relatively not going to know um, what could possibly happen next because I've been officially told, I think, I've been told twice officially now not to watch the OVA because the OVA is more for people who um, read the source material. And I'm like, okay, so I ain't going to read. I'm, I'm not going to watch it and stuff. But as someone who's coming in and who still has a lot of questions about these characters, it's just like, mm. but I, I don't know. I mean, it could end good and then it could end badly. But the way this episode, the sneak peek to it, it seems like it's going to end up badly. These two are finally together after several freaking episodes. After, you know, Suzu crying and, you know, Tori trying to round people up and eventually going and then finally, finally getting her. You kind of like take a thousand steps forward with this dang freaking preview, but I ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 11 and 12 of Horizon in the middle of nowhere. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 13, the end of season 1, and 14, the start of season 2. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye! <laughs>